Attention all members. I'll keep this short, DJ said. I also did not have the mic on just then. Attention all members. Attention all members. This is executive officer and founding guildmaster, Mr. Zeppo, with a programming note episode. Welcome to Squad Teamwork Guild Command Center Organization Committee Radio Briefings Podcast. On today's short episode, and I will try to keep it brief, friends, programming notes and a call for suggestions. Please stand by for the following communique. Welcome, friends, and thank you for tuning in. I am Guildmaster Zeppo, and this is your upcoming programming notes and call for suggestion. Current episodes that have recently been published, if you have not listened to them yet, please do. Uh, You are humbly encouraged to check out each episode and give feedback. None of this is required for membership, but it is strongly recommended, and it's a fun way to participate in community. Okay, episode triple zero... Our pilot episode, I apologize for the mild audio issues. I understand that uh, I didn't have my settings quite right, but I think it's tolerable and I'm not going to try to recreate it. That's been posted and it's a welcome episode. Welcome to Squad Teamwork. The Code of Conduct episode was just posted today. It's episode number two. It could be considered the closest thing to required listening. Uh, It just goes over the basic Code of Conduct and uh, cultural expectations of squad teamwork. Uh, It should be all relatively agreeable. Uh, But uh, of course, friends, please be advised at any time, if you don't feel comfortable, if you're not liking the vibe, if you don't want to play with this little club, by all means, remove yourself from squad teamwork. But if you're finding it all interesting, relaxed and groovy, but also engaging and exciting, welcome aboard. Help us spread the word to multiple gaming platforms. More on that soon. Uh, In our most upcoming episode, which will either drop later today or first thing tomorrow, I will be discussing the set of mantras. It's a cheesy little basic template of uh, things to remember um, that I, you know, I I like to think, you know, every company, every little team has its sayings, uh, its aphorisms. I, I like to work with mantras Uh, It's nothing too creepy. It's all about the game, and I think it's applicable to most Battle Royale games, especially if they have a death cloud and a storm or whatever. So tune in for that. That's dropping next, either later tonight or first thing tomorrow morning. Um, Quick survey question. Uh, Please be advised all feedback is received equally, whether you post it um, on uh, the Sprecher profile Uh, for this podcast, or you find one of the other social media platforms, or you send me a direct message. Just please be specific. Um, uh, Please include episode number and what particular subject you're responding to as you introduce your comment. Okay, but that's not the survey question. Quick survey question. What to you guys is the ideal length for any given episode? 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 45 minutes? Or can I let it randomly flow as it comes out duration-wise? It's on my mind. I'm a bit of a weirdo. I'm a bit of a chaos streamer and I'm a bit of a rambler. Okay, let's cleanse the palate. Then we'll talk about what's coming on the production line in the coming next few days and weeks, how these will relate to our future activities, both in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Warzone 2.0 on either Xbox, PC, or PlayStation, or any of the other games in which we have established or want to reach out and establish Uh, an uh, active, relaxing, groovy chapter of Squad Teamwork. In just a second, we'll discuss all that, but first, a little bit of DJ Z, endless fractal variations, a cosmic pulse groove pad, live to tape, digital animatronic, discotech synthetica, engineering of loopified audio assets for your enjoyment. A little bit. 
bit of quick shameless self-promotion. If you appreciate the literary fantasy music that is DJ Z, please head on over to soundcloud.com forward slash Mr. Zeppo. I apologize every day for this. DJ Z, it really should have been when I made the link soundcloud.com forward slash DJ Z, but we hadn't, we would, we were on a break. We'd broken up as a team and then we weren't talking to me. I digress. Soundcloud.com forward slash Mr. Zeppo. Check it out. Vote for your favorite tracks. Let us know which ones are groovy and which ones need to be remastered. Friends, let's talk production line. What is in development for future episodes of the uh, Guild Committee Organizing Podcast Radio Discussion Briefings? I'm still working on the title. Here's some names in no particular randomized order. The Bug Reporting Protocol episode, where I will be briefly discussing how we as a guild in any game can uh, espouse and manifest and, uh, what's that word for when you embody, there you go, embody being a helpful community within the general Call of Duty franchise fan base, and of course the fan base of whatever game, PUBG Mobile, etc. Um, I'll be talking about, uh, particularly in Call of Duty, where to properly submit a bug report. My opinion, as a former professional quality assurance game tester and bug catcher, how to write a simple, effective bug report in the format that they kind of show you on the form. And we'll also broaden it out to all the other games. I'll try to have my links prepared and ready for you for that episode. Okay, another episode that's coming up, uh, in no particular order, the Game Invasion Protocol idea, something I used to do back in the SimCity days. A little bit of personal anecdote for those of you who do not know. I was the founding guildmaster of the fastest growing and ultimately largest SimCity and City Architect game related online community based as a Facebook group which branched out into multiple groups uh, covering games like City Skylines, SimCity, SimCity Play It on phone, etc. Um... I like to do server invasions. There are multiple servers in, in SimCity. Um, the equivalent would be inside of just Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 would be to organize a day. Um, usually I do them on Pacific Standard Time. And I try to recruit officers in multiple time zones different than my own so that they can also execute these sorts of activities when I'm trying to sleep. Please be advised, savvy, savvy listeners know that we are currently actively recruiting um, res, uh, respect-worthy, trustworthy, and honorable junior officers. There is room for growth into standard officer. There's a, this can be a better name for that. And then um, senior officers with room for executive officers for when we need to spin off really hardcore and I need to leave all the activities to someone else to manage everything. Uh, for example, in a game I'm not playing. Uh, so, back to the production line list. There's only a couple more. Uh, but the Game Invasion Protocol episode, real quick, but what we'll talk about is both inside of Modern Warfare, Hey, like, hey, everybody, let's do a, a an all-afternoon marathon ground invasion run, which is what I call the combo platter of doing ground war and invasion. Two of my favorite modes. I think they're undervalued, although people play them a lot. Uh, obviously they don't get as much attention. And one of the things that I notice is that no one's ever on comms in ground war and in invasion, you get deployed in a four person, uh, squad. And then there's multiple four person squads spread out over the really large team on those really big maps. I would like to grow this squad teamwork guild large enough in order to represent in ground war and in invasion in multiple well-organized squads that follow the mantra stay tuned pin on the corkboard i'll do the mantra episode next it's nothing creepy it's just i'll give it to you real short do the game together that's like the one-liner like work the game together you guys 
Um, it's one of the things that drives me a little bad. Although I kind of love Invasion. I'm just a solo free agent. I do what I can. And then if I notice somebody that seems to knows what they're doing and I can try and stick together with them, I do. Um, but then we get redeployed and we're usually spread out. And I don't usually find them once we get redeployed. Um, there's some strategy that can be worked out there. Stay tuned for that episode. A couple more, I think. Uh, I will be doing a short episode on the multi-game roster of games I already play and games I aspire to include into my week-to-month-to-month -month routine. I'm juggling way too many games, and March is going to be a tough uh, month for me because I need to trim my gameplay time down. I've got family in from out of town for a whole month, so uh, the those who are already in the squad, please be advised. That doesn't mean I'm disappearing or bailing on the group or... Uh, faulting in my duties, you have been notified. Uh, so those who are wanting to step up into officership, please notify me as quickly as possible. The most effective way is to send me a direct message in Xbox app. Um, if you have the Xbox app, which is, uh, it, it taps into your Xbox system, it knows what games you play, it has your friends list, and you can have direct chats, sort of like what Discord is, that's what's going to be my Discord for Modern Warfare 2. I have a Discord group. Nobody's in it yet. I'm not going to force everyone to use Discord. It's not my favorite tool to use, but it'll be there, and I'll be hosting events there eventually once we get a crowd. So please do find that as well. Okay, one more, and this one will be important. I don't know what order I'll do these in, but this one's important for those of you who are enjoying this podcast process because this will eventually be a sort of important part, and I want uh, everyone's feedback and participation and if other people like to improvise like to cosplay like to role play like to write things down take notes and participate in collaborative art making let me know um because it's a little sidebar project of mine that drives the whole craziness um the fan fiction episode i will be explaining the zepoverse in detail um that it's going to be its own podcast actually i've been dropping those episodes in game, I'm sorry, that's not true. I don't drop episodes in game. I've been dropping those episodes on my main podcast tree over there called uh, the Zencast. But I'm going to be ma doing a major overhaul this spring season. That's what I'm going to be focused on in March. Uh, it's something I can do while I've got family in town because I don't need to be live. I'm just going to be like reallocating audio assets and maybe trimming some things down before I upload them in the new playlist. I'm going to be making a playlist specifically for certain special segments of the Almost Daily Zencast. Welcome to the show. If you guys are members crossing over from that, thanks for dropping in to check this, this out. This is specifically a, a show for video game enthusiasts, people who consider themselves regular gamers, members of the gaming community, especially enthusiasts of the Call of Duty franchise, especially those in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2.0, and Call of Duty Mobile. I am your host, the incorrigible Mr. Zeppo. I think I've covered everything, all the production stuff. Oh, yes, a call for ideas. I'll end the show with that and play a little bit more uh, DJ Z on the way out. Um, but uh, as well as the survey I took earlier, um, please do feel free to submit suggestions. What do you want to hear discuss? This is a squadron. This is a guild-based podcast, right? Pretend like you're in a little tiny, you know, community that's like, you know, a, a role-playing at at, uh, you know, video game warfare. I'm like the radio free Europe, you know, I'm the command center's broadcast radio style show. Like, uh, what's that, uh, Robin Williams movie. It's totally inspired. Like good morning, Vietnam. I think that's the name of the movie. Oh, I'm so terrible at that. But that was partially what inspired a lot of all of this project in, in many ways for a deeper look at the history and the development of the fan fiction uh, the Zeppoverse Project, as it is loosely called. There's many titles within it, one of which is literally a, um, a, a theme project that wants to be its own sort of animation thing, maybe a comic book, maybe a video game also, but definitely will be a collection of short stories that will turn into like a, a, a novel eventually. Uh, and that is a, a thing directly inspired by the old uh, in-game created anime called Blue versus red, or red versus blue. Do you guys remember that? It wasn't Call of Duty. It was um, that other game that I also didn't play for all the 20 years it's been around. Uh, uh, not Horizon. Um, not Loophole. What's it called? Darn it. Sometimes the memory just drops. Error. Name not found. You all know what game I'm talking about. You all, the, no, the legends who know, all you old schoolers who know, red versus blue. If you've never seen it, 
Uh, this you can consider this a, a, an old school gamer, real genuine, enthusiastic uh, recommendation. I really should do a, uh, a Mr. Zeppo's totally irrelevant media review uh, special episode about that. That's one of the feature segments I'm going to be spinning out into its own um, little sidebar podcast. In large part because I think it's a cluttered mess. One friend told me to put them all together into one big stream, and I've decided that it's still a big cluttered mess. And some people want to listen to the media stuff. Some people want to listen to the book review stuff. Some people want to listen to the Zen cast, the Zen nugget stuff. Some people want to listen to the political stuff. And not everybody wants to listen to all of it. So by doing like – I'm not going to just dump all the files up. I'm going to do special curated rebroadcast episodes. Uh, so tune in for that. Okay, that's the – the Zeppoverse tie-in. Um, there are short stories. There is a uh, a fan fiction book series. That's, I don't know that I don't have a working title yet, but it's going to be rooted in squad teamwork. It's going to be about a a, a squad, a guild of, of of community players set in a pre dystopian sci fi future that's tied into the other stuff going on in the Zeppoverse. And um, it'll be specifically about players in a game that's very much inspired in a fan fiction homage of love and in like a love letter of reimagining and setting it in the future of Call of Duty. I'm going to call it something else like Duty Calls or War, War Zone uh, 5.0, uh, you know, the Song of Fortune and Duty. I don't know, something weird that is really similar, but also a Zeppoverse, you know, reimagining. And uh, it'll be future tech. It'll be really immersive gameplay. If you've ever seen that uh, movie, oh my gosh, all the names are falling out of my head. George Butler, George Bernard Butler. I think I'm merging two different. George Bernard Shaw and Butler George, George Butler, the actor. The big guy from from 300 and and from White House, the White House guy, Protects the President series. Uh, He was in a movie where he was... Uh, so down and out in his luck that he had to sell his body to be an in-game, real-life violence snuff video game avatar where, like, the bullets are real, but someone else is controlling you and they're playing the video game. I'm going to take a Zeppoverse twist on that and turn it inside out. Um, but I digress. That's where the fan fiction is going to be. So I'm not going to be using it to make fun of anybody in the squad. Don't worry. If you want to contribute, if you're a member of the squad, you're top of the line of, like, hey, you got a crazy idea for something we should write up? Uh, for these short story collections, um, then you write your idea down. Give me an outline. Give me some some basics. Give me some beats. Give me character ideas. If you've got narrative, write it all out and, and connect with me. You will get credit. I can't pay nobody. This is a free project, right? I'm not a billionaire that's got too much time in their hands. I'm a, I'm a former entertainment professional forced into an unfortunate early retirement trying to make it big on the internet. Thank you for joining me. This has been the upcoming... Uh, Master Planning Squad Teamwork Organization Committee Radio Briefing Broadcast episode of Programming Notes. Stay tuned for those upcoming episodes. Give us your feedback in the comments. The podcast is now available on multiple platforms for those of you who don't want to listen to it on Sprecher.com for whatever reason. Although, if you want to get noticed and you want want me to see your comments right away the quickest, make a free profile on Sprecher.com. That's spelled S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R. Dot com and join up. Uh, it's totally free to listen to podcasts on there. You can also currently listen to this podcast on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Deezer, Podcast Addict, and Pod Chaser, all for free. So tune in, drop your comments, um, and let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what future subjects you want to talk about tactics, you want to talk about maps, you want me to talk about my favorite loadouts. Um, there's plenty of other people making content creation stuff about that. I've got plenty of sources. Uh, One of them is called Nescafe. No, Espresso. I always want to call them the wrong thing first. Shout out to Espresso on YouTube. Super admire your work. I don't know how you have time. It's amazeballs what you do. Thank you for doing it. You help me get make the best loadouts I can make based on where my weapons platforms are unlocked. I'm not. I haven't done the grindage. Uh, I apparently am not as hardcore. Um, of a gamer, even though I've been playing this game sometimes daily. I don't know how you do it, but hats off to all you level 400 and above who've got gold camos and like 12 guns. Like, what? This game is so crazy, you guys. Okay. Thank you for listening. I will try to keep these episodes tight and short and to the point. Please drop your feedback. 
Please visit solo.to forward slash Mr. Zebo to check out all the other dimensions of the Zeboverse. Please add me on Xbox to get alerts when I drop into which games I'm dropping into. And stay tuned for more ideas, more activities, more event announcements, and just fun community sharing uh, and anecdotes. Submit your comments, submit your ideas, submit your stories you want to share on the podcast. And good morning, video game players. Thank you for tuning in. I've been the Chief Executive Officer and Founding Guildmaster of Squad Teamwork, and this has been Episode 3 of Squad Teamwork Guild Command Center Radio Briefings Podcast. Thank you for tuning in. We're getting better at it every time, DJ Z. That's awesome. Kudos, high five. We'll see you in the game.